Hi, this is Scott with Solozo, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about reviews. So it's no secret that Amazon reviews are very important, specifically when you're, you're first starting out, you need those reviews to have that social proof in order for people to purchase your product. The less you have reviews you have on the list, your listing, the harder it is for people to convert when they're, they're purchasing your product and when, when they're actually on your listing page. So let's say, for example, uh, we are going to sell an office chair mat. So let's just go ahead and type that into Amazon. And then we're gonna scroll down and see the amount of reviews that are occurring on these listings. So we're going to ignore these sponsored product listings because these are not organic ranked. What we want to find are the organic rank listings in the top. So we can see this is very competitive. It has 36,000 reviews. And these other listings that are following also have thousands of reviews. So what this means is that these products have been there for a very long time. They're ingrained in Amazon's algorithm. Um, it's gonna be very difficult to try to overtake these people when launching our product within this niche. So what we wanna try to find is maybe people with less reviews that are easier to overtake, or maybe even have reviews that are not as good, like three and a half stars or less. So if we scroll down the page, we can see people still have a lot of reviews in this niche. We see, you know, someone with 37 reviews and someone with 20 reviews here. So this, this is a little bit more encouraging. You know, you can say, you know, if I launch my product, am I over, you know, can I create a better product than this person um, and still rank on the first page for this product? Uh, the more the more products with less than 50 reviews on an actual niche, it means the, the less competitive it is and the easier it is, is it is going to be ranking on that first page. So, you know, this this photo doesn't look very good. You know, we can tell that uh, the reviews are not very good. We have, you know, three and a half star listings are worse. So it's it's a great product to go ahead and say, yes, we can probably go ahead and launch and overtake this guy because he's not doing necessarily very well on the actual listing. Um, and uh, one thing that we can do to keep in mind for the reviews is we can request reviews individually or we can re request them in bulk. So Lozo is actually coming out with a software very soon that'll be free to everybody that will allow you to actually request those reviews in bulk. So continuing to request those reviews, you know, every single week or once a week, just go into Amazon Seller Central and make sure that we request those reviews. Eventually, the, the reviews will come. Um, yes, the bad reviews will, will come as well, but that's just a part of selling on Amazon. Um, and I would recommend at least getting a minimum of 10 reviews before, you know, just to give your product a real shot. As long as we have, you know, that 10 review count, it's something about visually that that makes that, that review count look a little bit better. Um, but once we get to those 10 reviews, things should be increasing in sales. Same thing once we get to 100 and 1,000, the more reviews we have, the better.